Hi everyone, my name is Prowey and today I'll be showing you how to make your topography map stand out and look great. So here we have a workspace of Sydney. We've got Sydney Opera House, the bridge and circular key. I've downloaded some topographical information and you can see it here. By default, it kind of comes out uh, black and white and gray. And what we want to be doing is adding some color, contours and hill shade to really make it stand out and pop. Starting off, let's apply some color to this DEM. So to do that, we'll double click to open up the Symbology palette. Um, next, we want to change the render type to single band pseudo color. And then we want to be changing a color ramp that suits uh, however you want to represent your topography. I like to use this blue to white um, mixed, I guess, topography color. It's quite standard in ArcMap, um, but it doesn't come default with Q. So I'll just quickly show you how you can bring that in. If you select the color ramp options, we want to create a new color ramp, select CPT City, hit OK, and then down the bottom, you'll be able to select the relevant uh, color that suits you. I've already had this set up, so I can select my, I guess, color plate. Um, if we hit apply, this stretches, um, I guess, this color ramp across um, the whole raster. So your maxes are based on the maximum point within the raster and the minimum based on the lowest point. Um, so it looks like the highest point is somewhere around here and the minimum is there. Um, this isn't that great if we want to you know, be zoomed right in. Um, so uh, because you, you kind of uh, reduce the number of um, color differences within your view extent. So what we can do is remap I guess the color, um, the color ramp across our current canvas. We hit OK, it restretches it. Um, so now we can see the lights. But uh, because of this low point here, it looks like this uh, construction zone, we want uh, the water areas to be more uh, closer to this kind of light blue green color. So we can just manually set the minimum to zero. Just like that, we have a nice kind of color ramp of um, topography within our desired view extent. Uh, next up, we might want to apply some contours. So to do that, I'll duplicate this DEM light. Um, so to duplicate, you can right click and hit duplicate. But if you haven't seen my um, productivity hacks around uh, keyboard shortcuts, um, I've set up keyboard shortcut just to duplicate it using Control Shift D. You can watch that video uh, later to see how you can do that. All right, so we're going to open up the symbology palette again, and this time the render type we will pick contours. And I'm going to just choose a contour interval of one. I think I'm happy with the default kind of line widths. Um, it looks a little bit like so. So now we can really see the gradients uh, within the topography as well. Typically, when it comes to contours, the closer the lines are together, the steeper it is, the further apart they are. Um, I guess the flatter the topography is, so you can tell we've got some steep areas around here, whereas around here the lines are further apart, a little bit flatter. But there is a little bit more we can do to make this pop, and that's through the use of hill shade. So I'm going to duplicate this again and uh, change the render type to hill shade. Basically, it just uses black and white grading, but uses shadows to emphasize, you know, areas of steepness and darkness. Steepness, I guess. I mean, the Z factor um, kind of exaggerates the, the level of steepness there is. Uh, so I might just use five, for example. I'm not sure if it makes that much of a difference. But um, to show you what it looks like on its own, you can kind of visualize the topography um, on a 2D surface based on the use of shadows within uh, the raster. But if we turn on the DEM, um, Color ramp, we, the, the hill shade doesn't come through. So what we want to do is apply some transparency here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's set the transparency to 70%. So now you can see that hill shade come through underneath the color ramp. Let me turn on the contours. And there you have it. That's how I make my topography maps really pop and stand out. Um, by using, I guess, three copies of the same layer, you're able to really kind of make your maps look a little bit, I guess, pop out a little bit more and um, help the reader or whoever's looking at maps understand um, the topography of the area.
So hope that this video has helped you. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And with that all said, hope you have a good one. See you next time.